Good morning, Crafty Stamping friends. How are we? Oh, let's move this black cardigan. How is everyone? Oh, I need to grab my card. Right, I better not sing, just in case there's any copyright issues. Because I want to be able to download this video. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hi, Jane. How are you? Hope you're all well. Dee -dee -dee. Hi, Carol. Got my new t-shirt on. Oh. How's things? I think I need to put my chair up a bit. Hang on. Hello, Sue. How are you, honey? Hope you're well. Oh, I need my foot still. Because my little short legs. I've got a foot riser here that I use for my day job. <sighs> oh, that's there. Hi, Hazel. How are you? Home alone again. <laughs> Husband is playing bowls. Got him. Uh, lawn bowls today. Hi. He's playing um, Australian pears with a friend. Well, with a um, one of his friends. So, hi, Gemma. Mm. Ah, best of. How is everyone? Did you all see my video on my my new kit yesterday? Have a wee look on YouTube. Um. You'll see the uh, grand reveal of that. So, hi, Lynn. Hazel's having a children morning. It's working later. Oh, great. Well, I've got this on, but let me tell you a secret. I've got my pyjama bottoms on. <laughs> the kids said you look like the, the boy out the The boy with the striped pyjamas film. Was, oh, hi, Kirsten. How are you, honey? How are you keeping, Lynn? Hope you're recovering well. So excited to make some little cute little penguin Christmas cards. So I'm making um, cards similar to this. However, I'm going to incorporate my jingle, jingle, jingle latest stamp set. Good morning, Liz. How are you, honey? Hope you're well. Hope everybody's good. Yay, hope you're keeping well, hon. Oh, I've got a mark on my desk. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited to make these cards. Hi, Rachel. I was just thinking about you this morning. I was going to give you a wee message to see how you are, hon. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. Oh, look, I've got a little straggly bit. I mustn't, mustn't have cut that properly when I was cutting my fringe a few weeks ago. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. Looking forward to meeting Ruth later. Oh, that's nice. That'll be good. Lovely, lovely. What are you up to today then that you're meeting Ruth later? Is it lunch or? It's turned out quite nice today. Um. Which is good because husband Ricky's playing bowls, so that's good. Um, and I've already done a little bit tidying up today, but I do need to clear out some stuff from that Kallax unit and some of my drawers because I've been just opening drawers and putting stuff in that shouldn't be in the drawers. So I'm going to have a clear out. I've got lots of stuff that I need to get rid of. A lot of it's not stamping up stuff. It's like glasses and things like that for doing etching and stuff glass H and I've just not got the time to do things like that. I'm too busy with my um, paper crafts, so well we've got living people watching, that's nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So um I don't know if you can see my yucca plant that I got. <laughs> a jump in my shopping trolley. Hi Riles, how are you my lovely? Whoops, wibbly wobble. And then I've got my big cheese plant up there. It's getting quite big. Um, but I'm still going to go to Ikea next Friday. 
and get some more plants. I want an elephant ear plant and some other ones. A Chinese money plant. It's got nice leaves on it. So I fancy that. Oh, what time are we at? Right, let me set up this other phone a wee second so that I can um, see the um, comments when I'm crafting. <laughs> it's bigger than me, pretty much. It was a, a nightmare trying to see where I was going because I sat it right in the basket, uh, the trolley. I said to my dad, it's your fault for needing a lift to the supermarket. He says, it's your fault I've spent this money. And he said, you could have waited in the car. <laughs> no. Um, this is a conference needed, so meeting for lunch in a charity shop. Ah, oh, nice. Brilliant. I love a charity shop rummage, but I've not been to shops in ages. And that trip to Morrison's yesterday, um, I was knackered last night after it, but um, it was good to get out. Right, let's flip you round. Do, 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 do. I really must get something pretty on that wall because um, it just looks a little bit yucky. Right, the phone is plugged in. It's not plugged in, it's in the holder, should I say. Just need to plug my charger in. Right, let's see now. Now I have a smaller mat here. So let me bring this down a little bit. Where's the edge of my mat? I want you to be able to see the hostess code in the shopping link. Wibbly wobble. Yeah, I think that's all right, isn't it? Oh. Right, come on, I want it to be straight. I think that's good. A nice clean um, mat. Right, who else is here? There's 13 now, so that's awesome. I need to get the actual mat in here because I don't want you to miss out on the cards. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six tent folds. So it's just A4 cut down the long side. Um, at four and one eighth of an inch and then you just fold them all then I have because I'm going to be using some black card um, I have some mats now these measure three and seven eighths by five and one eighth okay so they'll go on here like so and then I have the the, the gnome um, designer series paper so I'm using the B side and these measure three and five eighths so it's a quarter of an inch increments by five and three eighths and it's just really so that the all the colors the white the black and then this pop kind of thing so we have six of those so we'll pop them together just now I might not get all six made but I will try Okay, so what's everybody's plans today? Hope you're all doing something exciting. I know Ian's going out for um, charity shop rummage. How fab. I like going to the charity shops. But like I say, I've not been in ages. I need to have a really good day to be able to go. Right, so what we're working with is the Penguin Builder Punch which is available the now, it's adorable. Okay, so we're going to punch out. Now it's going to be a different, hi Karen. Oh yeah, Carol, you're album making, so you are my lovely, so you are. So we're going to make Penguin, which is um, the black body, the white front, but we're going to have Pacific Point feet. Um, and then I'm going to stamp just in a uh, black and maybe give him a blue beak as well. Kirsten's seen that a little girl not well, so not much. Oh, bless her, she's all right. Gemma's finishing off another Christmas card tutorial and doing this one later. Oh, fab. Awesome. Right, so we need six bodies. Okay, so all I'm going to do 
and start punching them out. Now, you will get excess pieces that kind of jump out because there is three parts to this punch, but that's all right. Okay, let me get rid of that now. So there's four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five. And there's the other one. Six. Awesome. And then, uh, Madeline's just come on but can't stay too long. Oh, that's all right, honey. Hi, Michelle. Morning, morning. Right, time for six bodies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, there is some little feet and things like that that have been punched out. You could put them, put them aside for um, building other little penguins if you wish. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the thing is, when you're um, batch making like this, there tends to be more um, just general chit chat while I build all the bits and stuff, but I hope you don't mind. Right, now for the feet. So there's six penguins and we need 12 feet. So. Obviously, there's just a single punch for that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fabulous. Right, that is us finished with the punch. So get all your wee yucky bits away. I tell you what, I don't know if I've had a bug because last night... Um, well, I went to bed to recharge after my trip to Morrison's at about, oh God, it must have been about seven o'clock or something, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, I felt awfully dizzy, and I'm still feeling quite dizzy today, so don't know whether my sleep's a wee bit disturbed. Right, so there is all the little feet, okay, so what we want to do is we want to stamp the eyes onto the little penguins first of all, the eyes and the nose. Now I think I'll do a, I don't know if I'll do a, a, a blue nose actually, we shall see. Right, we need black anyway, so memento, we are going to, hi Carol, how are you? We are going to need the eyes, which is this little stamp here. So if you get a small block, Couple of small blocks. Where is my baby one? Where's it going? See, this is why I need to tidy it out because if things are sitting on top of other things, then it's um, just getting in your way. Oh, forgot to mention, folks, that um, on Friday I am going to be putting away an order for the September product share which is the Santa Express crafting kit. So if anybody would like a, a kit, let me know. And if you would like the bundle added on top of it, you'll then get £5 off um, the kit that I prepare and you'll get free postage as well if you if you upgrade. So um, if you're shopping online, hostess code is FRKUPB94. So this runs until Friday night and I will be... Um, creating a new workshop after that, so a new code will be coming. Right, so let's get the eyes, which is basically two dots. Now, I will say with this, because it's small, don't press too hard into your ink. And don't press too hard onto your actual little, um, the card that you're stamping on, because it can um, go a bit funny. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so gentle, gentle. We are just going to, let me see, let me bring this away. We are just going to stamp the eyes. Now this one looks like, he looks like he's looking to the left. That's absolutely fine. So gentle, gentle. Dee -dee -dee. All right. So, there's the little eyes. Right, let me get my... My chamois. 
which needs um, a little spray of water, but never mind. Okay, I'm just going to pop these away as we go because I don't want to lose them. Their little eyes are a little bit footy. Okay, right, now for the nose. So let's give them a blue nose. So Pacific Point, gorgeous, gorgeous blue. Now, I know this is a juicy, juicy pad, so I'm going to be very, very gentle. So I don't know if you can see that, but... Hi, Jackie. You're all right, huh? We've not long started. You can see the, you, the, the little line in the beak. So just be gentle. Now, there was a few of you lovelies who requested catalogue. Um, my new catalogue catalog packs are coming on Wednesday, so I'll get them out to you for the end of the week, hopefully. So, um, I know one lovely person is looking to join my team, so um, that would be amazing. Right, okie doke. Anybody is interested in joining Stampin' Up!, either for a discount, for a business, for the community. Let me know if you'd like a little pamphlet. Um, I'd happily send one out. Um, I can also recommend things to put in your starter kit because it's all customizable by yourself. Oh, oh, I've just put my thumb in my ink. Now I have blue nails. <laughs> See what happens when I chat too much. Hi, Morag. Oh, dearie, dearie me. So be careful when you're closing, okay? Don't put your nail right up the pad. Oh, dearie me. Hang on, I'm going to have to try and wipe that. Oh, there we go. My counter queen's taking it off my fingers a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. As long as the excess ink comes off. They're water-based inks, so they will, um, it will come off eventually. So that's what not to do. Right, okay, we're just going to... Um, bash on i have a new glue here because my glue arrived so we just need to um glue this wee guy on here like so okay so i'm just going to add the glue on there and then pop it down just for quickness our tombow glue is really good at sticking so i'm not worried um, that I haven't put it all around the edges and what have you. Move this over a little bit. You do get a little bit of wiggle room before it sets. Because I feel like my hands are a bit jittery today, so I do apologise if I look like I'm jumping about. I'm just feeling a bit... Um, kind of like I've got seasickness or something. Strange. Very strange. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Jackie. Aren't these adorable? You can make them pink if you like as well. You can use like different colours. This was a uh, uh, this was in a uh, last year's mini autumn winter catalogue. This set. Whoops! What's happened here? And um, it carry, carried over until into the current catalogue. Um, and it's just fabulous. Right, now, if you've got Take Your Pick tool, I uh, suggest that you use it because this is great for um, picking up the little penguin's feet. So I'm just adding two little dots of glue on each of my penguin's tummies. And then I'm very simply going to do that. <laughs> Look, it's how cute. How cute. Right, let's bring that down a wee bit. It's nice to have a wee gap. These, um, these are great for when your hands are not doing as they should. Oops, she says. Now I've got it stuck to my finger. Okay, bring that round a wee bit. There we go. <laughs> Everything's sticking to me now. Yeah, when you put glue on your penguins, don't then go and lean on it with the palm of your hand. So that's what not to do. But you know what? 
it wouldn't be a crafting session if we didn't get all glue, would it? Okay, so do that. Don't know where that little black foot came from. And do that. Oh, how cute. How adorable. Right, let me get you a little close up. Did I, oh, how did I get ink all over there as well? Be careful with your juicy inks. <laughs> right, I'm just going to leave this here a second because um, there's a little delay. Oh, there we go. There's a little delay. Oh my goodness, can't believe I've got that all over me. Right, let's pop the wee guys out the way. Right, what I need now is... I actually need, and I forgot to die cut these out, I need six circles. So I'm going to use my stitch shapes. You can use the squares if you want to mix it up. You can use the um, ovals if you've got it. So I'm going to go for this size. So I need six of them. So if I pop that, and now I can't pick it up because of these silly nails. Right, I need my mini cutting emboss. Carol seen they're super cute. Jack has seen adorable. Carol seen cute. Ain't they? They're super sweet. Right, what do I need? I need my plates. Da -da 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 -da. Right. And I need some white card. So, of course, you'll know I've got a stash of off cuts. So let's see, will that fit? Yep, I'll get two out of that. So I'm just going to pop it through. I need to hold on to this hard just so it doesn't move my mat that's underneath because um, I've just stuck the new mat down. I don't want it all creased. So there's one. Mm -hmm. I do apologise. I would have done these beforehand, but I forgot. I thought it was being organised. There's another one. Right, I'm going to just move this off to the side slightly because I am moving my little mat. I love this little machine. Absolutely love it. And it's really sturdy on the table if you're not on a movable surface. So, um, because of the rubber feet on it, it's really good. And I'm still moving my mat. Hang on, let's shift all that out of the way. We have three. Mm -hmm. Getting there, getting there. Tell me, is, has anybody been crafting this morning already? Or has anybody got any crafty things to do today? Maybe you've got a commission card to do or a blanket to crochet. Hazel likes her mini cut and boss as well. They're super fab and they're uh, reasonably priced. There's also an option to, um, what do you call it, to buy it with a certain sex of dyes um, and then you save because you've bundled. So that's worthwhile looking into if you're going to get one. Um, so yeah. Um, Karen has several more snow globes to make for the rescue. Oh, brilliant. You do a lot of um, good work for that um, Romanian dog rescue, hun. These places without people like you would really, really struggle. Every little helps. And I bet they're, they're glad to know that somebody cares. Talking about dogs, did you, anybody see the state of my living room carpet yesterday um, I had to brush Millie and I wasn't brushing her outside because it was wet um, and trust me wet um, dog hair is a nightmare so um, I just had to brush her inside um, I've got a good hoover quite lightweight and easy to use so it was easy enough to wipe it all up she's going to need another another brush um, Today or tomorrow, Karen since she tries to. Oh, it's so kind. Carol's got samples to make for craft fair and craft show coming up. Oh, nice. How long? Uh, when is that? I hope it's a success for you. 
I've tried craft fairs and what have you in the past and I stopped doing them because either one, um, nobody wants to buy handmade goods sometimes or appreciate them or two, when I did sell things I would just go and spend it on other other things at the fair. <laughs> so I wasn't actually making money. I was making it and then spending it. Uh, Karen uh, Kirsten, yeah, first thought it was a cushion until I read the post. Oh, bless. I know. Karen says, I saw the garage. Reminded me when I used to have Lucy the GSD cross. Oh. Kirsten said, need to get on with Team Challenge. Yes. That's what I need to do. Thank you for the reminder. So Kirsten's on my team and she's um, very kindly um, decided on a team challenge for us this month. And one of the team will um, be gifted this little um, Stampin' Up! fan that I got at New Orleans. So I'm going to gift that to one of the team um, for taking part in the challenge. So Kirsten, you will be doing the draw for that, my lovely, if that's okay. Right, let's um, stick the little penguins down. Now, I'm just going to put them flush because these may be posted out. Um, thank you, Carol Sane. Uh, 24th of September and 5th of November. Brilliant. That's awesome. Right, so I'm just popping these down in the centre. These would make great tags as well. You would just put it down a bit, punch a little hole, stamp on the back that says to and from. You could put a little sentiment on the front or you could stamp little snowflakes in the background, things like that. I can't wait till Friday because I'm, I'm putting in an order. Something stuck. Dog hair stuck to my, my nail there. That's a wee now, that's fine. Um, yeah, I've got to put another order in. And can I say, um, our most recent Stampin' Up! branded items that are available to customers as well are now available. They were slightly delayed for Europe. There is a beautiful cup and a beautiful beanie hat um, on the website now. And then as demonstrators have also got a supply item, which is a little um, pop-up bin. Um, the current one we have is navy blue and this one's white with um, blue. I think it's this shade. Right, okay. Let's start putting the cards together and then we'll stamp the sentiments. Okay, so just popping that on. If you want to save cards, remember you can die cut out the middle bit or what have you, but um, only if you have time to do that. I know time's precious. I never have time to do that. Hence why I go through a lot of card stock. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I've got another two full packets of this um, paper, so... I'm going to make sure that I use it. And one of my other lovely team members, Tammy, had reminded me that I was supposed to make a Christmas album. Um, so that will need to be started soon as a little series. Um, I'll just craft that in my own time and record it in parts, I think. So that'll be good. Um, oh, wow, there's 14 of you lovelies watching. Thank you. I hope you don't mind me calling you lovelies. Stamping friends. Creative colleagues. Wonderful people. <laughs> Isn't this nice? It reminds me of Christmas jumper. But a nice Christmas jumper. <laughs> right. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous paper. So I had a little tidy of my um, my shelves in my craft room where I keep all my, um, what do you call it, my ink pads and things. It's kind of like a rainbow display. So I cleared the top of the, the top shelf and I popped all my handmade albums up there. 
and also some of the album gifts and mini albums that have been um, very kindly gifted to me. So, hi Jeanette, thanks for joining us. Hope you're well. De -de -de. Now, I will say, if you have the um, gnome punch, the gnome um, set, you could put the wee gnome in here as well, instead of the penguin. That would be nice as well. You just need to die cut out. It's not a punch, it's die, sorry. Die cut out the wee bits and pop them together. That'll be fab. Oh, can say no, don't. You might get banned. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh dear. Brilliant. Jeanette's fine. Brilliant. That's awesome, my lovely. Right, okay. Now, for fanciness, you could put ribbon at the back of this or you can add dimensionals. However, I'm just going to stick them down. So I'm putting them in towards the top half of the card. You can mix it about though, you can make it landscape or you can put the penguin down the bottom, but I like it here because I think it's at eye level when you when you hold a card, so um so that's fab. Jeanette, I'm all inky. <laughs> all I would say is make sure you remove excess ink, especially if you are working with white card. Because the amount of times that I have smudged white with my inky fingers. And it's really frustrating at times. Uh, it's just part and parcel of being a, a crafter, isn't it? Right, pop that there. I can't believe how nice and sunny it is outside. I might get a wash and hung out. Or I might just hang it up on the clothes horse and uh, pop it out at the back door. Right, okay. Oh, I think, I think the um, Pacific Point... Um, compliments the pool party very nicely. Is it pool party? Oh, I'm really worried about my eyes, by the way. Right, where's the gnomes? I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's Bammy Blue. I take it back. It's Bammy Blue, which is very like pool party. Pool party's got more green in it. More of a mint hint, shall we say. Right, so... Obviously, when I was cutting these um, DSP layers down, I had some excess pieces of the designer series paper, and I thought I'll stamp onto these, mat them up with some black, and then pop them on there like so. So we are going to do that. So I need the six pieces. Ramsey's saying super cute. Oh, thank you. And what do I need? I need a bit of, let me get this older piece of um, grid paper. Right, so I think I'm going to use the word believe if it fits. Now these are two part stamping. Um, so I'm just going to do believe, stamp that in black and then stamp the inside in Pacific Point to match the penguin's little uh, Pacific Point feet and little nose. So not used this yet. This is awesome. Right, okay. Now, I should have really checked because these don't fit. But that's fine because you know what? I'll use that in another project. I will just stamp directly onto the card. And because my blocks are um, translucent, see-through, I should be able to um, stamp them relatively straight. Hi, Helen. Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Haven't heard from you in ages, Karen. I hope you're well. Right, so we're going to do the word believe. So we want to do the outline first, which is that one. And then we do the infill. Right, so I'm just going to pick that up with my block. I really must clean these. Hang on, let me get it straighter on my block. So I'll just line it up like so. Boop, that's better. Lovely. Get my black. Dee, dee, dee. This is when the pressure's on to stamp proper because I'm going directly onto my card now. <laughs> 
deep breaths, everyone. So I'm just going to pop this here. Give it a few seconds. Ta-da! Fabulous. Right, just need to batch stamp these now. And this is partly the reason why I pop the black layer on as well. Um, I think I'll put that further down actually, um, so that it all kind of coordinates. Okay, there's two. The reason I'm taking my stamp, uh, my pad to my stamp is because I re-inked it and uh, not all areas of it are the same kind of density with the ink, if you know what I mean. Um, Cam saying, good, just work mad, not craft busy. Oh, I know. See, as soon as September hits, that's it. No time for nothing, and in the blink of an eye, it's Christmas. And if you're... St Morning, Jane. If you're still... Hi, Tina. If you're still watching Mr. Ian Potter, I have noticed you're so many weeks till Christmas posts, mister. <laughs> Getting me in a panic. I thought about... Oh! <laughs> Ian always does it. I always laugh when Ian pops those posts up, because it's... It's true. And already I'm seeing in the reels and the um, reels on Instagram and Facebook, it's all, it's Christmas songs and there's Christmas things in the shops. It's like, they can't even wait to get fall, autumn or Halloween out the way. So, how was the wedding, Jane? I hope, um, I hope you had a good time, hon. Oh, nearly popped that upside down. Okay. Ta -da. If you're still not overly confident with um, doing two part stamping, you can use your stamparatus um, to get precision stamping as well. I'm just doing it kind of freehand this morning. Right, so put that back there. Now, there is a little um, bow here. Where's my stamp case? Out you go. There's a little Santa hat that you can put on the corner of your words as well. Um, there's a little bow there. Um, if you wanted, you could even stamp the little Santa hat on the, pe uh, the penguin. Um, I know that the penguin does have... Where did I put it? The penguin also has little hats and things like that you can add to it. There's a little hat, there's a little scarf. There's little antlers and stuff. And there's the little star background stamp I was telling you about. Right, okay. So, this is going to be... I need to be careful with this. Uh, wedding was beautiful, cried all day, drank too much to stop crying, and one of the groomsmen drove you home. Oh, bless. <laughs> um, he's also only have to make a few special Christmas cards, so get them done soon. Oh, brilliant. Ian can count how many shopping Saturdays till you... If you want, that's what I'm talking about. Oh no, 15 weekends of Christmas. Uh, yeah, little blue penguins. <laughs> little blue penguins. Right, back with the Pacific Point. Right, I'm just going to test this out because this is a juicy, juicy part. So let me test it out. Let me get my block. Sticky, icky, icky. And let's see how this is going to stamp. Lovely. Love it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right, chuck that to the side. Mm -hmm. And just waft it about a bit. Make sure it's all covered. I'm going to stand up for this. Then we're just looking through. <gasps> Pressure. Looking through, lining it up. Give it a few seconds to take that ink. Ah. That's nice. It's not as blue as this because we are stamping on a um, Bami Blue. So it will change the colour slightly, but I think that looks really pretty still. Okay. <laughs> I have just remembered what I was meant to print off. I was meant to print off an information sheet with the order number for these sets, etc. However, if you would like to order anything used today, 
just send me a little message. I have an order going away on Friday. And if you order, if you want me to order on your behalf, I don't mind and post it on for a, a little bit cheaper. Um, however, if it's a big order that you're getting, you're as well doing it direct and um, paying the, the stamping up shipping. And then you get the extra insurance and stuff. But I can order it and have it direct shipped to you as well. So that's not a problem. Ta-da! One, two, three, four, five. Where's the other card went? One, two, three. My goodness. I think I've got spooks in my house. Mm -hmm. There we go. That one's slightly squint, but it's all right. Carol likes his stamp set. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, where is card number six? Or am I going blind or something? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there it is. It was face down like that. That's why I didn't recognise it. Right, last one. <laughs> now, I want to quickly show you a fab little set of dies that we have. That would be great for making Christmas tags. Right, just clean that off with my old tea towel that I have lying there. So, this is awesome. You can use obviously the inf the outline or the infill separately. Um, oh, thank you, Jean. Hi, Tracy. Um, Ian said the stamp rats would be perfect. It sure would. It sure would. And that's how I was saying if you if you're not confident to stamp um exact, I'm not that first. See this one's centered perfectly, this one's slightly out. If you like things pretty much spot on, then the stamp rat is, is good. Definitely is. So that is those. So I just want to quickly show you this. Um this um, die set so this is called tailor made tags and it's a really good set especially for um, gift giving and Christmas time so one two three four of each size okay so this has got a fancy top and this has got more of a, a clean cut top and then we've got this bit here that goes over it's like the ring reinforcers so um, you just run that through. Once you would get four, and that one you get three. So they're really good as well. I've actually got a project that I'm working on, which will be coming to you soon, if I can find it. Um, so here is one of the fancy tags. So this would be big enough for a little penguin. You could put a gnome on it. You could use a bigger one. This is one that I've coloured, and I'm going to make a rustic gift idea from that so hi Yvonne if it's not quite in point it gives it a drop shadow oh I like that terminology I do I do and you could actually um stamp it so that it's given it a shadow like that um maybe better if it was a lighter color um but yeah I like that terminology Tina so those are the little cards let's compare it to the first one I'm going to have a look out and see what other um, B-sides of these papers I can use. So very similar, same products, but totally different looking, isn't it? <laughs> and what time are we at, guys? We are at... Oh, I'm early. I finished early for a change. Oh, my. My, my, my. That's, uh, that's a first, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, you are all so kind. You're so kind. So kind. Um, yeah. What 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 do you fancy? What do you fancy? What what would you like to see maybe next week? Um is there anything you would like me to do next week or a specific set to kind of showcase? Tina hasn't had any coffee yet, and you're on forum, my lovely good. I'm on my second coffee, but it's in this big, huge cup. It's actually two cups worth. <laughs> you know me and my coffee. 
I really shouldn't be drinking coffee if I'm feeling dizzy today, so. Um, would you like to see Christmas cards or would you like uh, me to stamp my own background or what else could we do? Or a 3D project? Little gift box, I could use some festive, um, festive papers to do that. That would be good. Um, if you've any ideas, let me know. If not, I'll think of something and um, update the events. You'll see that I've got all the um, all the events in up to the first week in November, I think. Um, so I was very organised. And um, yeah. So just a reminder of the hostess code if you're shopping online. Um, if you do shop through me, I do put it through... Um, the workshop too, so you do still get a free gift depending on sales, depends on the gift obviously. Um, you'll always get a handmade something from me. Um, yes, if you put an order through the website, I get an email. Um, Hi Barbara, I get, did you get a long lie this morning? Here's the little cards that I've made, made half a dozen of these. Um, yeah, I get notified of all online orders, so um, and then I print them off as a reminder to um, make sure that I send out vouchers because I send out a voucher for every £25 spent and that's before shipping obviously and a reminder to send out a gift and a handmade item so um, yeah 99.9% .9 of the time I will use all the rewards on my customers as gift back um, with every workshop order I put in, there is usually one or two hundred pound of my own um, orders in there and the rewards from that, I also nine times out of ten put fully towards the customers. Sometimes if I maybe need dimensionals or something, I'll take some of my own rewards, but I generally do share it out amongst all the customers because um, without you guys, um, I wouldn't be doing this. Barbara's been watching the TV. Oh, yeah. Is that on just... Was that on this morning? I'll need to go and watch that. I'll need to go and watch that. Um, I bet it was emotional. I bet it was emotional. So, yeah. Uh, one final thing. If anybody would like to purchase my September Smithies Creative Crafting Kit, it's a product suite share of the santa express it's 25 pound plus uh, thanks tina honey 25 pound plus 3.95 postage and pack because i do send it recorded um because the mail system isn't reliable sometimes and if you send it recorded it tends to show up um so uh normally that is a quarter share of a product suite but i am actually doubling up on some of this stuff so instead of um, 12 sheets of 6x6 six six of the papers, you're going to get 24. So just because um, a little thank you, um, it's good to give back because without customers, none of us would have businesses. And this is absolutely um, paramount to having a business is giving back. Back. So, um, yeah, so you get a share of all the consumables within this suite. So this is Santa Express. Um, I don't normally do um, cartoon type, but I've seen so much gorgeous projects with this. So, you can buy the full suite for £100, which includes the stamp and the dies, um, and then boss and folder. Or you could purchase this kit and it's a quarter share. However, I am doing half. So you would normally get a quarter share of the gems, the trim, the memories and more cards. This is a, a more expensive one because there's extra. There's coordinating cards and envelopes and the DSP. So I'm putting in, instead of a quarter, I'm putting in a half a pack of the DSP, the gems, the cards and half a reel of this. So this is a one-off extra special not double your money, but I'm putting extra in it out of my own pocket for you guys. Because um, I think it's just a, such a fun suite. Um, if you upgrade um, and pay 45 75 for the bundle, which is the stamp and 
the die. So when you buy that together, it is £45.75. I will give you £5 off the kit. And I'll also post it for free, just as a thank you for upgrading. So that comes to 60 something pounds. So please let me know, because I already have four bookings for it. Um, I'd love to try and um, offer another four, get another four booked in. Um, so yeah, that would be good. And uh, yeah, Tina, you need to save up your um, little pound coins each week so you can get one of these kits. Because um, 25 is quite reasonable for this. Um, and it's a lot of goodies in it. A lot of goodies in it. Uh, Jackie's already put an order in. Yes, this isn't due for payment until um, Friday morning. Because um, I put the order away Friday night. I'll do that once I come back from Ikea. <gasps> do, 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 do. I'll put that away Friday night. Um, so I will message anybody that's um, booked it for a payment through PayPal friends and family. So Carol's saying great kits. Oh, and Barbara's booked as well. And uh, yeah, what I forgot to say is that I always do, um, I always put in coordinating card stock, you know, like your, for your card bases and stuff. Um, and little extra gifts from me as a thank you. However, I'm also, um, I also do two projects. I design two projects, cut out all the parts for it, the consumables, um, and then I send them with the kit as well for free. So I give you all the materials to make the two projects, um, and I send that in with your kit, and then we get together for an hour's crafting on Facebook Messenger video, um, and that's always fun. It's usually about a, an hour, um, and it's either a Tuesday or a Thursday, Thursday at six. Usually a Tuesday is better, or sometimes it's during the day. So um, yeah, at some point in the future, I hope to be able to um, do videos for the kits as well for those that can't actually attend the online class, the online get together. Um, so yeah, that's something to plan for me probably after Christmas because um, it's just hectic between now and then. So yeah, if anybody would like to book in for that, send me a wee message. You will not be disappointed. Um, and I put all the little consumables in their own little packages and things like that. So um, so yeah, payment not due till Friday. I've put 17th of September here, but it's actually Friday the 16th that I'm putting the order away because I get paid on the Friday rather than Saturday because it's the weekend. Ian, is, Jackie loves Ikea. Oh, so they are. Ian's saying Ikea is far too close. It's about three fields. Oh, my goodness. Ian, I would be in there every single day. And Ian, I do love your new desk. Um, that You've repurposed some kitchen bunker. It looks amazing. And it's good to see you've got a full, uh, long space now that's all in the one. So, um, still waiting on update photos of your craft space. So, please share in the group, in the Crafty Sample Club club group let people see your progress of that and yeah that is all for today i will up this up oh, start again i will upload this onto youtube in the next half hour um yes you do need to post pic i know you're distracted hun i know no pressure but i'm just too nosy i want to see <laughs> i want to see yesterday <laughs> um it will be up on youtube so if you're watching on youtube Thank you so much and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday and uh, I'm going to go and finish my coffee, have a ciggy and um, put these in some cello bags. I need to order more cello bags. I need them off Amazon actually because I go through a lot of them and these ones are 6 by 6 and I'm having to fold or 5 by 7 I haven't to fold them over because um, I've ran out of C6 so... So yeah, okay guys, see you later. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, if you do try this, please share it in the group, the Crafty Sample Club group. Um, don't forget there is a challenge running as well for a floral um, card sketch card. Um, everybody who takes part in that challenge, I'll put all the photos together and that will stay as a header in the group for everybody to see your gorgeous designs until the end of the next challenge. So. Thank you so much and I'll uh, see you all again. Bye.